Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So I've got another product review for you today and uh, this video is going to be for either those of you that already have the Thermaworks smoke uh, or just somebody that's looking for a uh, Wi-Fi uh, device that will allow you to monitor your cook. So what we're going to be looking at today is the new smoke gateway. So what this is, is it's essentially a Wi-Fi adapter for the Thermaworks smoke. So it's going to um, kind of hook up to your internet and you're going to be able to monitor your cook from, you know, a phone or a tablet, things like that. So there's a lot of these, uh, you know, Wi-Fi devices out there. If you guys have been following me uh, in my channel for a long time now, you know that I'm a huge uh, fan of all the Thermaworks products. So I'm really excited about checking this out. So uh, I will have a link to my review of the smoke uh, that I did a while back if you wanna go ahead and go check that out first and then come back here and then uh, we'll take a look at the gateway. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here it is right here just in the packaging. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, and here is the unit itself. And as is typical with Thermalworks products, it's just got a nice solid uh, build on it here. Feels good in the hand, nice big buttons, soft buttons. You can see it, you know, basically same scheme as the smoke as far as the design and color schemes go. So that's that, and then this is going to be the power adapter for it and that's that and just a little uh, operating manual here and again so with the power adapter and the charging cable the little charging cable will just hook up right here in the back uh, this thing has a rechargeable lithium battery in it and uh, they claim that this thing will run about a hundred hours off of a full charge so I really like that you don't have to keep this thing plugged in all right guys, so I'm gonna try my best here to show you how to uh, set the gateway up here. So it's a pretty simple concept. The gateway will be communicating to the smoke via uh, RF, so radio frequency. And then your gateway is going to connect to your Wi-Fi. So basically, you, you know, you don't have to have the gateway outside next to the smoke. So you can have it inside um, you know, out of the elements and whatnot, <clears throat> and then be monitoring uh, your cook from a uh, mobile device. So this is the very first time that I'm attempting to connect uh, to connect the gateway uh, up to my smoke. I wanted you guys to uh, just to kind of walk through it with me, um, so you can see any issues that I may have. I did watch uh, the video that Thermaworks has up on their website of how to connect it and it's pretty straightforward. So uh, basically all you have to do is download the Thermaworks Gateway app and create an account. And then right after you set up your account, we're going to go ahead and go into this first screen. So it says no device found. So we're going to hit connect and smoke gateway add device. So we're just going to click that up there. And it kind of gives you some, uh, some instructions here. So you want both the gateway and the smoke turned off. So the very first thing we're gonna do is hold the power button down on the gateway for about five seconds. All right, and now this red light is flashing. Uh, it's a, uh, it went from the purple color to flashing red. And now what you want to do is power on the smoke. So we've got that powered on. Um, and now on the back, there's a sync button that we're going to hold for about eight seconds. Get this and so you can see this holding that button down. And there you can see that sync is flashing on the screen of the smoke. All right, now that the smoke gateway has started flashing a um, purple color now, it has succinct, uh, successfully paired with the smoke. 
And so now what we're gonna do on back over here on the app is we're gonna hit next. And then we're gonna hit settings for our Wi-Fi. All right, so I kind of messed up something there. So once we go to settings here, we go to our uh, Wi-Fi settings here, and then here is my gateway right here. So I'm just gonna uh, click on that guy right there. And then after this, it basically just says to return to the gateway app. And it says successfully connected to Smoke Gateway. <clears throat> then we're gonna hit uh, next. And then it wants you just to connect to uh, your Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Hit next. And we're gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my, my uh, Wi-Fi password here. All right, and then I hit next and then connect. And so it says connecting and then okay to restart it. Smoke Gateway is restarting. This can take a few minutes. Tap OK now. All right, and then we're going to wait for this to restart. All right, so that took about 30 seconds, and it says Smoke Gateway found. Your device is ready to use. And so we're just going to click OK. All right, and then uh, it took a few seconds there. Uh, to kind of pull in the readings, but they popped right up and I've just got these plugged in uh, inside the house here and so um, See probe one uh, Kind of what you know, that's my uh, food probe and then um, Down here is my ambient pet probe so you can click on those and uh, come in here and add different alarms for your your high alarm, your low alarms, just like you would do directly uh, on the smoke. And we've got some graphing capability here. Uh, it looks like it's got some export options and whatnot. So uh, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and get a cook going on later on, and then I'll give you guys one last little shot that kind of shows you uh, some of the readouts in the app. All right guys, so we're out here on my little Rec Tech Mini here. I've got a couple pork tenderloins I just threw on. So over here, you can see where I've got the smoke pit probe. And then in this one tenderloin, I've got the meat probe. So that's just kind of my setup for this cook. All right, so one of the things I wanted to point out here was that from what I can tell, um, and I'm assuming this is just um, how they built, you know, the, the smoke and the gateway to act together is that you'll notice that on my smoke, if you look at my um, high alarms, high and low alarms over to the left for both my pit and my meat temp, uh, I've got those set, uh, those were set from a previous cook. So I was doing like a Boston butt cook overnight. And um, so I'm gonna switch over to the app here uh, in just a second, show you that you, when you set the high and low alarms on the app, uh, that it's kind of uh, independent on what you have on the base station here. So I was thinking that if you set those alarms on the app that it would somehow be able to push that to the smoke unit here and update that. But from what I can tell, it doesn't do that. All right, so here we go. So this is back over on the app and kind of what I was talking about there is you can see where in the app here, I've actually only got one alarm set. It's for the pork tenderloin and I've got a high alarm set of 140. I did not set a low alarm and then on the pit, I don't have a high alarm or a low alarm set. So um, I'll kind of keep an eye on this and I'll let you guys know, you know, let me know in the, question, uh, in the comments if you have any questions about how this works. I'm gonna test it out and see if, you know, if you've got an alarm set on the app here, if the app goes off, but if it's a different alarm on the base station, if the base station is still gonna go off as well. So um, that's not a big deal though. So far, everything's uh, working out pretty smooth. As, as you can tell, it's pretty straightforward to use. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this review video of the uh, Thermoworks Smoke Gateway. Uh, super straightforward to use. It's a you know, quick and easy setup. There, you know, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, there's definitely other uh, options out there on the market. I'm a big fan of Thermoworks products just for their 
build quality and just for the thought that goes into their, uh, you know, into all their products. So um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm going to continue to test this out and I'll be sure to answer all those uh, the best that I can. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.